Welcome to the webinar. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to use the WinForms or now ZipForms global templates. For anyone who's never used the global templates before, these are templates that have been set up by Evergreen Realty and they are boilerplate versions of all of our contracts and disclosures with all of the standard information filled out. I can create a situation where you could write an offer in about one minute. Um, so I'm going to show you how to access it and how to get on. So I'm starting at the screen here. Uh, the website that you would go to is wfo.zipformonline.com, like I have here. Please do not use www in the web address when you're logging in or you won't get to the site that you need to. Once there, you're going to see a screen that looks just like the one that I have in front of you here. Your username when you log on will be the email address that you use to access uh, zip forms or the email that you use uh, that shows up when you print your zip forms out that's automatically on there. In my case, it is my evergreen email. If you're new to Evergreen, we would have just signed you up uh, under our broker account for this. So in the password section, you actually just leave it blank and click sign in and it will then prompt you through uh, with a couple of questions to get you logged in in your uh, broker account. I already have a password, so I'm going to enter that now. Using the global templates is really, really easy and I think you'll be surprised actually how simple it truly is. So once we get logged on here, taking my computer just a minute to get there. If you have any questions, you can enter them in the question box and then I'll be happy to address them as soon as we're finished here. All right, so once you log in, you're going to see the screen that looks just uh, like the one that I have here. In order to use our global templates, you're just going to click on New Transaction. It's going to pull up a window where you're going to create your new transaction. It takes just a second for it to come on. Still waiting. The system has to kind of set up the library, so it does take a couple of minutes for it to come forth. Okay, once here, you're going to see this pop-up window that asks you to name your transaction. I suggest that you name your transaction something consistent that you will remember. I tend to name mine uh, with the property address. Seems easiest to go back and locate it later on. It is important because when you're trying to locate your files in the system, uh, you have to have some pretty accurate information where you're trying to track them down. That's why consistency in how you name your files is really important. All right, so that's the name of the transaction. Then at this area here that says Apply Template, if you click the down arrow and open it up, you're going to see the options of all the templates that we currently have in the system. We have templates with EVR Lend. We also have templates that say EG. The EG templates are for agents who are under Evergreen Realty and Associates, Inc. That would be most of the agents in the company. EVR Lend is uh, agents that work under our lending division, which is called EVR Lending, and we have a DBA that's Evergreen Realty and Loans, or, yeah, Evergreen Realty and Loans. Sorry about that. So the different types of templates that are here, we have the standard disclosure package. It would just be all the different disclosures you'd use in a transaction. We have a short sale offer, a standard offer, an REO offer, uh, and I think we also have a listing template, a standard listing template. We'll be building more templates in for short sales and REOs and mobile homes and that type of thing down the line, but this is what we have right now. So you figure out what template you need. In this case, let's say I'm just going to write for under Evergreen Realty a standard offer for my buyer. I just click on the template, click OK. And you'll notice that what happens is in this window over here, it's going to just automatically bring in all the forms that I would use in a standard offer. Coming over here to the purchase agreement, what you'll see is that we've filled in all of the standard information already in the transaction. So there's already the company name here. We've got a standard 45-day escrow. If you want something different, you can change that, but that's what we usually use most of the time. 
and uh, we've got you know loan rate and terms and as you go through the offer you'll see that when it comes to the cost we have all the standards in there already ready to go the escrow company so really what you have to input to use one of these templates is the property the date uh, the name of your buyers the property address parcel number you know county the dollar amount of the transaction or the sales price and then their deposit and finance information other than that unless you have some very special terms that you need to put in the only thing you'll need to do is click on over to the last page 8 and enter your personal information in the box and your offer will be ready to go that's all we have for now are there any questions yes I have a question Lisa please go ahead will we be able to access this via the agent corner yes there is a link on the evergreen agent corner for uh, zip form online it would take you right to this web address that we mentioned above so if you uh, log on to the evergreenrealty.net website and uh, go in through the agent corner you can find this link okay thank you and one other question when sure. uh, I'm looking at the contract pages themselves is it possible to enlarge the screen so I can uh, get a closer detailed look at the contract uh, itself on the screen yes you can actually there is a zoom option right here where it says scale width and you can just uh, oops I went down there <laughs> you can just zoom it larger however you need you can also uh, remove this reading pane uh, by just clicking this little arrow over and it will take that out of the way and you can just see the contract uh, another uh, point that that brings up if there are any documents in the template that you don't need for example this COP form which is contingency for the buyer selling another home if that doesn't apply you just simply come click on the document and then hit remove and you can take that out it won't do anything to the template itself the template integrity will remain in intact it will just uh, change this particular transaction of yours is there any other questions perfect with that I'm gonna go ahead and end the webinar please feel free to call your office manager or myself Lisa Schultz with any other questions that you might have with respect to using the WinForms global templates